Iran stands behind Hamas, behind Hezbollah, behind others. But we're determined to win there and defend ourselves in all arenas. President Joe Biden urging Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to not retaliate on Iran for their recent attack. Lawmakers who stand with Israel have criticized the president for not doing enough. His latest gaffe sounded as though he was attempting to please voters who have protested he hasn't shown support for Gaza. And I made it clear to Israelis, don't move on Haifa. It's just not, I mean, anyway, I, I just... The problem is that Haifa is Israel's third largest city in Israel. Regardless, European officials and analysts are concerned with the combination of Biden's lack of support for Israel and threats from Russia. A European official told the Washington Examiner, quote, our rhetoric for the Western-based deeds are not matching at all. We have uh, terrorists and tyrants and terrible leaders around the world like Putin and Xi and, uh, and in Iran, and they're watching to see if America will stand up for its allies and in our own interests around the globe, and we will. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's team has coordinated with some Western European allies to discourage Netanyahu from targeting Iran. Some point out this could potentially embolden the U.S.'s adversaries. While some analysts told the Washington Examiner it's best to keep our enemies guessing, the Biden administration confirmed the U.S. would not be part of any response to Iran's attack on Israel. The message to Iran in this moment. Don't. The mixed response to the Israel-Iran standoff has resonated across NATO.